bring you to the woodland during a deep dark night. The echo of an owl looms overhead, pure white, hidden in the shadows. You see the stars above you through the canopy of trees, an iridescent light illuminating the leaves. It dances silently in the mute breeze. Photography is an excuse, a reason to explore, a vessel to create and to connect. I want to be more conscious and plan my images with depth and intention. I honestly believe that that is the key to creating beautiful images. When you stop and really think about the feeling that you want to create, everything flows. You consider the emotion that you want to invoke in the viewer. Is it life? Is it hope? Is it darkness? Or is it fear? Sometimes the image is first created in your mind. A vision of a photograph is begun. We think about where we want to go. We think about what we want to capture. And there's a degree of predictable anticipation. If you're heading to the mountains, you know you're going to take pictures of mountains. The magic happens when you apply your unique vision how you receive the landscape and how you translate that to an image. You're probably wondering what inspired me to come here and do this. And I've been thinking about light and how light interacts with the landscape. And it came to me when I was photographing the trees in the daylight and I could see how the sun, this bright light, was illuminating all of the trees in the darkness, in the dark wood. And I just thought how beautiful it looked. And I've taken images like this before. And because I've done some beach woodland um, photography in my last video or last few videos, I wanted to develop this and try and work on my composition, how to control light, how to flip it on its head because I had the yin and yang images, the darkness, the light and the mist in my beach woodland shots and now I want to do light and dark in the woodland and there's just a feeling here like being amongst the trees in the darkness. You do just feel like the only person awake, it's pretty cool. And the woodland looks different at night. When you're illuminating these characters, these gnarly trees, it's just really beautiful and it's a whole new perspective. So taking these images, I'm doing a mix of techniques, but I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of this video as to how to do that. I'm actually going to do that in another video. This video is about sharing the creative process from start to finish. An idea where I was looking at the light hitting trees in the daylight, now developing into scouting out this location at night and taking pictures of beech woodland trees in the cover of darkness, in the thickness of winter. And whilst we're on some sort of descriptive writing, I wanted to also plug my podcast. So I've started a Landscape Photographer's Diary, an immersive story podcast, which is basically about my adventures in nature and I take you along the journey with me you can listen to it whilst cooking or going to sleep just any way you want to unwind tune in with me they will be uploaded onto this YouTube channel um, as well as Podbean so check it out there there's a chance to win some filters that might have lapsed now actually um, because the deadline was the 31st but if you do want to have your stories read on the podcast you can send them in to uh, my website, contact me via suzannamary.com, so that's www.suzannamary.com, and you can have your stories read on the podcast and your photography channel or page tagged. So it's a good way of sharing other people's stories and their work. Um, I really love creative writing myself and helping with mindfulness, really, mindfulness in photography, mindfulness in nature. 
I think it's really good for you. So, yeah, I'm going to keep walking through this woodland, see what compositions we can craft out using this light technique and just enjoy being in this majestic, spooky woodland. So we are in a very old ancient woodland and we are searching for beech trees and one thing I wanted to share with you guys is the creative process, the rawness of capturing an image rather than being reactive to changing conditions. I actually want to completely strip the canvas back and paint my light, you know, have control over what I can influence in my photographs whilst also spending time in nature, connecting with the landscape and just completely switching off from the world. I've not been in a woodland in the middle of the night. We've got the moon above us, slightly illuminating all of the trees here and these beech trees are standing out. This is another depth to photography. If you want to elevate your photographic eye, I'd recommend stripping everything completely back, starting afresh, and looking at how light interacts with nature. Mm -hmm. 